Okay, right here is a 1978 Polk Lane 220 CK. The Model 220 CK was first introduced by Polk Lane in 1976 as part of Polk Lane's CK series of hydraulic excavators, which were first introduced in 1975. Now, let's go and get a closer look at the 220 CK. Available from Polk Lane in either front shovel or backhoe configurations, depending on what the customer preferred, the Model 220 CK was designed to swing a bull clam ranging anywhere from three and a half to four and a half cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration and swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from one and seven eighths to two and a half cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration. Multiple different stick and boom lengths were offered for the 220 CK in backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred, to match each job application. This particular unit that you are looking at right here is equipped with a 12 foot 6 inch stick and a 23 foot boom. On the back of the stick, you can see the single hydraulic cylinder to curl the bucket in and out. And on the back of the boom is a single cylinder to push the stick in and out. To help give you an idea of the size of a 220 CK, this excavator measures 11 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 11 feet 11 inches wide. Right here you can see where the two boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. Thirty-four inch general purpose crawler shoes were standard for the 220 CK in backhoe configuration. However, Polk Lane also offered optional narrower 20 inch and 28 inch crawler shoes for this machine depending on the type of ground conditions that this machine would be working on. The narrower crawler shoes were more commonly installed on the front shovel version of this machine. And if you look right here, on the side of the crawler frame, here you can see the original manufacturer's plate that says Polk Lane, and you can see where it lists the machine's serial number, the model number, and you can see where it says the year that this machine was built in 1978. And from here you can get a good view of the slew ring on this machine. Okay, now let's go up top. Operator's cab on the 220 CK featured an up and over front windshield, which allowed the operator to lift open the front window to allow for plenty of air circulation inside the cab to help keep the operator cool when running this machine on a hot summer day. Now let's go up inside the cab first. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the 220 CK. Let's go inside and take a look at what the controls do. Okay. 
Off to the right side, here you can see the control panel with all of the warning lights to alert this operator in case of a malfunction, such as a hydraulic oil filter clog, an engine air filter clog, engine oil pressure, engine temperature, and or suction turbine belt failure. And below you can see all of the switches to control various functions on this machine. Okay, these two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator seat on the floor control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. The two hydraulic joysticks that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator seat control all of the digging functions of the backhoe attachment in the front, or if this machine were set up as a front shovel. And from right here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 220 CK. Here you can get a good overview of the machinery house on the 220CK. And as you can see, all of the sheet metal covers on the machinery house have long been removed. Right here you can see the two oil coolers. And mounted on the left side of this machine is a 106 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. And right back here, you can see the big diesel engine that powers this machine. This is a Deutsch diesel engine. It is a model F10L413, air-cooled V10 diesel engine that produces 276 horsepower and 663 pounds per foot of torque for this machine. The engine receives its fuel from a 158 and a half gallon diesel fuel tank mounted on the right side of the engine, which you can see right here. Here you can get a good overview of the hydraulic system on the 220CK, which featured Poclane's exclusive Variodin hydraulic circuit, which features automatic oil flow variation according to pressure control modulators and series type valve blocks that operate under a working pressure of 4650 PSI and a heavy lift pressure of 5800 PSI, which at this time was the highest operating pressure for a hydraulic excavator offered in the industry. The heart of this machine's hydraulic system is a single radial constant displacement piston type hydraulic pump with four sections arranged in a star fashion, each containing three inline pistons rated at 108.8 GPM, which you can see right down inside of here. And right here, you can see the single air cleaner and intake for the engine. Here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on this machine. And here you can see all of the hydraulic hoses that run out to power the backhoe attachment in the front.
from underneath here you can get a good view of the travel system on this machine which consists of dual high torque radial piston travel motors with planetary gearing to propel each individual track and if you look you can see where the hydraulic hoses run from the motors through the car body of this machine and then up to the hydraulic system to power the motors and from here you can get a good view looking up at the superstructure on this machine this machine has two travel speeds 1.4 miles per hour in low travel speed and 2.8 miles per hour in high travel speed. And the overall operating weight of a 220 CK can range anywhere from 45 and a half to 47.7 tons depending on configuration. In 1976 Tenneco Incorporated, who had previously acquired the J.I. Case Company and Draught Excavator Lines back in 1968, purchased 49% of Polk Lane, making Tenneco the company's major shareholder. Following the purchase, the Case, Draught, and Polk Lane Excavators were merged into a new single line. By 1988, Case had purchased the remaining 51% of Polk Lane, and by this time, the former Polk Lane hydraulic excavators had surrendered their legendary red, white, and gray colors to the new brown and yellow colors of Case. The Model 220 CK remained in production until 1986, when this machine was replaced by the new 220B model. But there she is, a 1978 Polk Lane 220 CK.